Hey everyone, it's Mikhail Thorpe from expatmoney.com here. And in today's video, we will be looking at the top 11 food and water independent countries for expats. But first, subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications to get the best info from the expat world every single week. It is no secret that access to clean water and arable land and food has contributed to the rise and fall of empires. This holds true in present day with the availability of scarce resources driving recent conflicts in Africa and the Middle East. Further exasperating these issues in recent years are supply chain disruptions due to the lockdowns in 2020 and 2021 by many of the world's governments. With consumers impacted by inflation and higher taxes, there has been an outflow of citizens from high-cost countries like Canada, France, the UK, and the United States. Keeping that in mind, today's list of the top 11 food and water independent countries will focus on popular expat destinations, emphasizing affordability and standard of living. We begin our list with number 11, the South American country of Ecuador. Located on the equator, Ecuador is famous for its diverse landscape that includes fertile valleys, numerous active volcanoes, and an extensive coastline. With no shortages of fresh water and large portion of the labor force dedicated to agriculture and fishing, Ecuador ranks highly for food and water independence. In addition, it is a major exporter of bananas, cacao, and shrimp. Like neighboring Colombia, the country has become a popular expat destination thanks to its low cost of living, ease of obtaining a residency visa, low inflation, and no taxes on foreign sourced income. Next up at number 10, the popular tourist destination of Costa Rica. This small Central American country has for decades attracted U.S. and Canadian expats thanks to its high standard of living, affordable health care, and political stability. Regarding food security, Costa Rica ranks well above the region's average in several important areas, such as sustainability, agriculture, access to clean water, and the ability to cover domestic needs. Aside from the natural beauty and quality of life, there are some tax benefits to living in Costa Rica, such as only paying taxes on income sourced in the country. It truly is a beautiful place to live. Our number nine country on the list is Thailand, another country famous for its beautiful beaches and diverse landscape. Thailand is one of the most food secure countries in Asia. While it only receives an average score for water independence, Thailand is one of the largest regional exports of fruits and vegetables, rice, fish and seafood. With that said, Thailand is well regarded as an expat destination when considering the taxes and low cost of living. We now move over to Europe for our number eight food and water independent country, that being Hungary. While it might not be the first country that comes to mind, Hungary is one of the few European countries that can claim the title of food independence. With plenty of flat and fertile land for agriculture and cattle grazing, Hungary is a major producer in the region for grains, fruits, vegetables, and meat. Hungary also becomes a popular destination for citizens of high cost Western European countries, courtesy of the effective asset protection strategies and a flat income tax of only 15%. Next up, we stay in Europe to look at our number seven country on the list, Bulgaria. Thanks to its low population density, plenty of arable farmland, and a temperate climate, Bulgaria is the second most food independent country in Europe, ranking seventh overall on the FAO self sufficiency index. Aside from grains, Bulgaria is known for its fresh produce and honey. However, in light of the war of neighboring Ukraine, the Bulgarian government has prioritized food security and recently provided over 500 million euros in aid to local farmers. For number six, we head back over to South America to look at the country of Paraguay. Paraguay is fortunate to have an ample supply of fresh water and fertile farmland despite being landlocked. While regarded as one of the least industrialized countries in South America, Paraguay produces more than enough food to cover domestic consumption. In fact, foodstuff like soy, oranges, sugar, sugarcane, and beef comprise the bulk of the country's exports. Aside from food and water independence, Paraguay has been gaining attention from expats thanks to its affordability, low tax rate, and no taxes on foreign sourced income. 
Next up, the number five food and water independent country is Nicaragua. Nicaragua is largely self-sufficient in essential food production. In fact, a large portion of the population works in sustainable agricultural, meaning most of the produce and meat at the local corner store is fresh and locally grown. At the same time, life in Nicaragua is not without its challenges due to frequent natural disasters and deficient infrastructure. However, it does have some things going for it, such as ease of obtaining residency, a low cost of living, and a laid-back lifestyle. Continuing down the list is number four, and that is Argentina. While Argentina is more known for its economic woes, it is the most self-sufficient country in the world, according to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. With plenty of fertile farmland and fresh water, this shouldn't come as a surprise. And Argentina is a major exporter of beef, corn, wheat, soybeans, and many others. Likewise, it has one of the highest standards of living in Latin America, and a recent devaluations of the peso relative have made Argentina an attractive destination for expats. Next up is number three country on the list, my current home of Panama. Often referred to as Switzerland of the Americas, Panama may not rank as high as some of the other entries on the list, but it benefits from being a major transit route. Home to the Panama Canal that links the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans, the likelihood of disruptions to the food supply is close to zero. Of course, Panama offers several other benefits, such as no tax on forest source income, ease of establishing a business, and strict bank secrecy laws. Next, we look at number two on the list, Uruguay. Uruguay also receives high marks for food and water independence, ranking second on the FAO index behind its southern neighbor, Argentina. Unsurprisingly, Uruguay's food production far exceeds domestic demand, with foodstuffs like beef, milk, rice, and soybeans comprising a bulk of the country's exports. On a positive note, Uruguay is one of the region's most stable countries thanks to its pro-business approach and prudent economic policies. As such, it has bucked the trend of resurgent left that recently swept through Chile, Colombia, and Peru. Finally, we arrive at the number one food and water independent countries for expats, Brazil. Brazil is the largest country in Latin America and a regional powerhouse, boasting a diversified economy comprising of manufacturing, agriculture, food production, and natural resource extraction. With the Amazon River snaking through the country, there is ample fresh water for growing crops and raising livestock. Like other countries in the region, production exceeds domestic needs, with foodstuffs comprising a sizable portion of Brazil's expats. Here are my final thoughts on this. This list shows how many countries, some of which were a surprise even for me, such as Hungary, are food and water independent. Most of the mentioned countries are expat friendly, have their own digital nomad and residency by investment programs, and are places that you can get more for your dollar. All of the ben mentioned countries are worth a visit or maybe even setting up a plan B. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to this channel. And while you're at it, be sure to bookmark expatmoney.com, which is also where you can reach out to my team for assistance if you're looking to get a residency in any of the countries that we discussed today. Cheers.